Welcome back to Out and About. We return once again this week to Indo Chinese restaurant Hakka Land in Harrow, where Chef Stephen Lee cooks up a delicious vegetarian delight. But just before we take you to that, let's speak first of all to co owner Amit Kadam. Covid has affected a huge number of industries, not at least the hospitality industry. Yep. As a restaurateur, just tell me what that experience has been like, and actually how difficult of a challenge that has been to adhere to new government guidelines and, of course, national lockdowns. Uh, yeah, it was uh, it was tough days for us. Uh, I've never seen empty restaurant like this before, uh, so it was uh, it was very tough for us to see, you know, how it's going to end up. Yes, government did uh, help us a lot um, in terms of like all the businesses. They helped us a lot. They like we were surviving for a while with with the takeaways, uh, although it just it was just a food. But we were missing out on alcohol sale, beverage sale, um, dessert sale. You know, so it was all uh, lagging behind a little bit. So, but yeah, I think uh, the government has taken a few good decisions uh, to help the small businesses uh, to survive in the market at the moment. Uh, yes, we have drastically um, reduced uh, the sales, uh, approximately 50% down to be up and down. But uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully after this lockdown, we should get better. I'm sure people are dying to come out and we should hit with the bang again as we, as we were before. Stephen, you're going to be giving us more inspiration of some dishes that we can cook up at home. Tell me what we're going to be making here today. Uh, no, I'm going to make a very simple uh, Mixed vegetable in black bean sauce. Lovely. So uh, very quick, very easy, yes. lots of flavour. Yes. Run me through some of the ingredients we're going to be using uh, here today. I, I have here water chestnut, broccoli, green and red peppers, onions and uh, baby corn. Uh, in mixed vegetable you can put anything, either you can add potatoes, you can add mushrooms or beans, whatever you like you can add it there. There's not specific, like only dish can be made in black bean sauce. Anything Great. vegetable can be mixed. So if you didn't like something or if you wanted to change it up, you can yeah, substitute if, it. Yeah, some, some people uh, don't like, uh, example of they don't like broccoli, they will substitute of some cauliflower yeah. or something like that. And in terms of the oil that you would recommend we use, there are... Vegetable oil. Lots of different types. So vegetable oil is what you would say is the best yeah. one. Normally I use vegetable oil. This black beans, uh, let me run through my ingredients. A finely chopped garlic, which is required for this one. Finely chopped green chilies. Mm -hmm. And I have a duck, so duck soya sauce, which is most of the Indo Chinese food they require for this ingredients. And the salt is here. Uh, most important is black bean. This you can get in any Chinese, uh, Chinese supermarket or any supermarket. It's a black bean. This is a very strong flavor as well. So I have to start with my chopped garlic. So one tablespoon of chopped garlic. Chopped garlic and chopped green chili, mm -hmm. finely chopped. It depends on how spicy you eat. So I'm not going to put so much right now. You use with caution. Yeah. That's what you're trying to say, okay? So I have uh, garlic and ginger on the wok. Yeah. Stir it till it becomes brown. time whilst we're talking about the amount of chili to use if you don't want it spicy this is something that's perfectly adequate without any chili at all is it yeah if you don't like spicy you don't add a chili right very uh, but uh, normally people they like to have a black bean with a bit of chili not that spicy so finally I'm going to add a black beans how much would you say a tablespoon uh, tablespoon of black bean Uh, 
what uh, happens to that black bean once you've got it in the pan? Does that break down at all or should it still remain its whole black bean? No, this will remain as a whole black bean. Okay. Now you can smell of a uh, black bean. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to add all the mixed vegetable here. You can see the design of the carrot here. If you don't have a time, you can just slice it. You don't need to right, make okay. a design of that. Already you can see just how quickly the veg is getting mixed with all those wonderful flavours there. Right, and uh, now I have to add uh, dark soya sauce mm -hmm. to make the change of colour. Two teaspoons of Dark soya sauce. Now I'm going to mix it up. Now you can see the color turn into dark. Yeah, you can see that already. Lovely. And it's giving it that that signature color, essentially, of what you'd normally see with something that's cooked in black bean sauce. Right. You don't need to cook so long for the vegetable. Right. Otherwise, the Vegetable cook actually is very fast. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add some water. Just so that it doesn't stick and doesn't burn. Now this is a gravy, uh, gravy dishes, mm -hmm. so you need to be a bit wet. So you don't want too much water. How much water do you think you'd put in there? Uh, you can use, uh, it depends on how much of, some people they prefer to have more gravy with a steamed rice or something. Some people like to have a semi dry, so it depends on how, what kind of uh, rice you are having with. And some people are having with a fair rice, you don't need too much of the gravies and all. If you haven't, go with a steamed rice, because rice is bland, so you need to flavor it, so you need more of gravy and tea. So you're going to answer my next question then, really. It's what do we serve this with? So there we have it, chef's recommendation, rice. I have a uh, salt to add to test. It's depending on how much uh, salt is required in your food. Most important things when you're cooking for the vegetable, do not murder the food, vegetable. You have to be like half cooked, around 60%. Mm. Right, okay. So now it's almost cooked now, vegetable. The, this is a cornstarch, which I have explained earlier, the corn flour and water mixed together. So this is like a bit of a light paste you've made here. Yeah, so now I'm going to make the gravy thick. I just add three teaspoons of uh, corn flour. So actually not very much then, even to make that sauce thick, and you can start it to thicken yeah. already. If it, if it, uh, is it still too watery, you can add what, like, for example, it still look watery type. So Sweet you just add, add one more teaspoon of cornstarch. So my, this mixed vegetable, Black bean sauce is done. Lovely. And that just looks and smells incredible, Stephen. This is a vegetable black bean sauce. Stephen, a big part of cooking Indo-Chinese food is, of course, having some wonderful side dishes, such as rice or noodles. And of course, we're going to be doing that just now. So tell me, what are we going to be cooking uh, up now? Now we're going to make a very simple egg fried rice. Uh, I think anyone can do it at home. What you need is very simple, a boiled basmati rice. Uh, if you go to a Chinese restaurant, they don't use basmati rice. We, we people from India, obviously, basmati rice is the best to make biryani and fried rice. So I have a one bowl of uh, boiled basmati rice, uh, salt to the taste. I have a two egg here to make the fried rice. Uh, spring onion and finely cut carrot. Uh, what I'm doing is very simple. Anyone can cook. Oil above two tablespoons. Oil is hot enough now. I'm going to put the egg. You need to keep on stirring the egg. The best part is to 
make fried rice mm -hmm. with a non-stick. So the rice is not going to stick on the wok. And in terms of the egg, we're almost just ever so slightly scrambling it here and just separating it up quite nicely there. Now it's just to add the rice. Mm -hmm. So we've just added some cooked rice here. So this makes sure that actually we're not going to risk burning the rice or having it stick to the pan. Yeah, normally if you do with a normal uh, wok or pan, it will stick. But if you are cooking with a non-stick pan or mm -hmm. wok, you are you never worried about the sticking or something like that. And continuously stirring is yeah. really key for that as well. So now I'm going to add carrot. Now I've never had carrots in egg fried rice before, so this is adding a completely different flavour to it, yes. a slightly sweeter flavour to and it. And you, you can see the fried rice, the colour of the fried rice, we, this will uh, don't look like uh, similar to the other Chinese restaurant mm -hmm. fried rice. Already you can see it's a lot more colourful, a lot more vibrant there as well, which is looking lovely. Right. Now I'm going to add salt. Now you can hear the rice cracking now. Yeah, so that's a good telltale yeah. sign of it being ready, or close to being ready. Simple is to make the fry rice. Very, very straightforward. And in terms of those carrots there, Stephen, so you just want them to soften them, really. You don't want them to be hard. Right. Because the vegetable, I don't like the vegetable to be overcooked. Mm -hmm. Now the final touch will be the spring onion. Mm -hmm. This is really, really simple and straightforward. It could almost pass as its own main course dish, almost. Anyone can cook, I said that to them as I say. Yeah. So my fried rice is done. Already, Stephen, I can see the texture of every bit of this is really, really silky, really smooth, and incredibly soft here. And the rice is so fluffy. So this is egg fried rice. Well, a huge thanks there to Amit and Stephen. Sadly, that's the end of the show and, of course, the last show of 2020. We certainly hope you all continue to keep safe and we'll be back on your screens again in 2021. Until then, have a great week and enjoy the rest of this year. Take care. Bye-bye.